Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pedal Porn Hub. Uh, we're on the new set today, uh, it's pretty, pretty bizarre, but um, yeah, it's all good fun. Um, yeah, we want to say a big thanks to Rob Nicole on Instagram for choosing the name Pedal Porn Hub. Um, we reached out to you guys to see what, what name you wanted to see and, uh, you know, Rob commented this name and just loads and loads of people liked the comment and we thought it was a good fit, you know, it's a good little play on words and um, yeah, but thanks thanks to you all for your comments. There was literally hundreds, so I had to go, <laughs> go through them and I'll tell you what, um, some of them were hilarious, but probably not fit for a PC YouTube, uh, you know, weekly episode. So, but anyway, thanks a lot for that guys. And um, yeah, on today's episode, I want to talk a bit about this pedal here. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the past. It's the Analog Man NKT275 Sunface. Um, well, first, before we even talk about the pedal, um, it comes in one of these cool, like, beer beer chillers, I think it is. You know, you put your, your can of beer in there or, or whatever you're drinking, and uh, yeah, it keeps it cool in the summer, so that's pretty cool. Saying that, you probably need it for the pedal as well because these are very temperature sensitive. On that note, I've actually got another one here. Um, the same, exact same pedal, however, when I went to plug it in for the demo, it literally didn't work. I don't know if it's the heat or or not, but um, yeah, it just didn't didn't work. Even with the bias tweaked, it just didn't work at all. But um, this one, I'll tell you what, the one I actually ended up recording with sounded absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've never really actually given them a proper testing before, but um, I've heard, you know, the, the, the main thing about these pedals is if you know about them, you know about the hype behind them. Um, and with that being said, the amount of money they're going for on Reverb now is just crazy. It's, you know, they're, they're like a thousand pounds plus in, in British pounds at least. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's bonkers. I'm not sure exactly what the retail price was when they first came out, but it was probably around 200, $300 from the analog man side. But due to the scarcity of uh, the transistors inside, and of course the limited quantity that analog man and his little team can produce it just ends up you know soaring the price up especially when notable players start using them and um you know yeah i tell you what this one's actually quite quite bad it's you can sort of see it's been well well used um and you know what they say a lot of the more well used looking pedals actually are supposed to sound the best because they've <laughs> they've been given the uh, the road testing. Uh, if you if you look at a lot of the old first faces um, from the sixties, it tends to be that the, the clean looking ones don't seem to um, maybe sound quite as good. But the real battered looking ones, like look at look at any of Philip's faces, first faces, they're absolutely trashed. But uh, you know it's a good one because he's probably gone through a bunch of them. But um, yeah, this this pedal really really did surprise me because like, even though I knew it was going to be good from the the hype I've seen, it just had a massive Hendrix sort of woolly fat, um, huge sound, and and the cleanup was really nice on the guitar's volume knob. Um, not not too glassy, it was more of a, a woody, sort of Hendrixy style um, cleanup. It, and it didn't clean up massively. I, I, maybe I'm just used to our our own uh, pedal form first design, but um, it had it cleaned up in a different way, which was a nice nice change, to be honest. Um, but yeah, these are just all around cool pedals, We've got a lot, lot of mojo. You know, they can just tell they're so nicely handmade, um, even down to the hand stamping of the the artwork. And, you know, anything from Analog Man, we know will be, um, you know, fit, fit for purpose. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna play play through it, play some Hendrix style stuff, um, crank it up. I'm gonna use two different settings, one with both maxed out, both volume and fuzz maxed out, and then um, one with the fuzz backed off a bit to around two-ish I think so yeah the the bias control I, I, I set it up before the um, the plane and to be honest there wasn't that much difference really from zero to hero there wasn't much much difference so I just had it about backed off by two or three notches and uh, yeah this one sounded great this one didn't sound so great didn't, didn't even work but um I might get that checked out by uh, <laughs> by our team so yeah hope let me know what you guys think and i really hope you enjoy the episode thanks a lot and catch you soon